This is another number changes for 2023. Now we try to find continued fraction for square root of 2023. First of all, we know that 2023 is not a perfect square. So the square root is going to be irrational. That is, it cannot be represented in a fraction to be exact. However, we could use a fraction to approximate it. Now, for continued fraction, it has this generic form where we have a, a i and b i s are just different numbers. They could even be complex number for some cases. Now, here we interested in a special form where all the b's are one. Okay, so in that case we call it simple continued fraction, right? So in other words, the format is going to be all ones for the numerator here. Now, this fraction could be finite, in which case the expression is going to be some rational number, that is the ratio of two integers. Now, in the case where it could go on forever, that's infinite many, you know, AI and, and AIs here, that's going to be for some irrational numbers. Now, since sometimes it's kind of awkward to write in this format, there is another commonly used notation, that is, we just write the sequence of AIs, right? Because that would uniquely determine the value here. So we're going to write a0, notice a semicolon here, meaning this is the integer part. Everything else is a proper fraction here, 1 over something bigger than 1, right? This a1 is going to be 1 or more, right? So it's always a fraction, it's never 0 here, okay? So basically, you have this shorthand notation for representing this simple continued fraction. Now, for example, square root of 19, in this case, I wrote it here. It's going to be dot 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 here, which means it never ending. However, notice a few interesting property here. The integer part is 4, and then the whole thing is kind of uh, in a repeating pattern here. Okay, So 8 is the meter here. So for example, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 8. That's kind of a palindrome. Okay, So 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 8. And Gone forever. Two one three one two eight. Just repeat the same pattern. All right. It's beautiful. So we try to figure out square root twenty twenty three. When you do the math, it's about forty four plus some fraction here. It's about zero point nine seven seven. That's close to one. Yeah. So what you can do is you say that, okay, so it's 44 is the integer part plus x, which is a fraction part, yeah? Now, we do some algebra here by square this equation here. If you square it, what you're going to get is this, yeah? 44 square, that's 1936. And then the 2ab is going to be 88x. Do some, combine the terms here, you have this. Now, I want to write in a recursive form, in this format. This is equivalent, okay? These two equations are equivalent. But this give us a recursive relation, you know? So, notice that square root of 2023 is 44 plus x, right? So, just replace here in the expression, we get this, okay? So, 44 plus, this whole thing is x, right? But then you can argue that this x can be replaced by the fraction again, yeah? So you can do this. And you can continue to do this. It's gone forever, right? That's going to be continued fraction for square root of 2023, okay? Go, goes on forever, all right? So recall that that's approximately this value here. And what if we use a finite term? I'm not going to maybe truncate the rest of it so that I have an approximation of 2023. Let's try that, right? So if I truncate right here, yeah, and I get this big 
fraction here and I use calculator this is about 4497 okay but then the third digit the five this is seven is different right so how about maybe we should use more of it right let's do that have one more term here and this number is is bigger and indeed it's getting closer now this time it's very close seven 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 two two seven this is two two eight very good okay of course as you can go on you're getting closer and closer to the true value okay so that's a good approximation now however this form is not what is called simple continuous fraction so we would like to figure out what is this in this simple continuous fraction i have to use one over right so earlier we use like 87 88 uh, we we don't want 87 we want one okay so how do we do that so we try to figure that out right so again let's start from the beginning the 44 now we're going to write square root 20 23 with integer part of 44 plus the remaining part is going to be this one minus 44 right and this one is going to be approximately 0 0.977 right the smaller than one but in the proper fraction we want one over something okay so let's turn that into a fraction first yeah and then what i do is multiply this on both top and bottom and here is a minus b a plus b so that turns out to be a square minus b square yeah let's do that okay and then that's 87 okay so what do we have here this is again all this algebra is just so that uh, this is when you flip over it's easy to multiply okay when you flip over what you get because why we flip over because this thing is smaller than one right so we want to turn that into one over in order to get a simple fraction pour, uh, f form right so let's do that let's flip over here and notice that this is 44 does something right 44 plus 44 is 88 does something so in other words this is going to be one plus something right one plus what there's only one plus this value here okay this is just algebra now again so here now what we're saying is that so original square root is equal 44 plus one over a quantity that is one plus another term and this again is a fraction smaller than one we want to flip over right so we want to flip it so let's do some algebra here so what we're doing here is let's try to work at the algebra here so this this portion here is what we get is smaller than one so we flip over all right so flip over here we're going to turn that in the bottom here square root of 2023 20, minus 43 again we can do try to uh, get rid of the radical here we can multiply square root of 2023 20, plus 43 and in the bottom it becomes a square minus b square that's 2023 20, minus 43 square yeah so what you can do is plug in the value here is 174 87 and this is square root plus 43 all right so uh, remember our purpose is actually to turn any fraction smaller than one into one over something one over some integer here okay here we cancel 87 so this becomes 2023 20, plus 43 on the top and this is going to be we know that that's going to be 44 point something plus 43 so it's going to be integer part is going to be 43 plus a fraction you know this fraction here is going to be square root of 2023 20, yeah and then that's going to be minus 43 okay so this part again is integer plus a fraction here right so the first integer we have is one now we get 43 okay now here we're going to work with this remaining fraction here now this fraction um, is going to be expressed in one over something so we need to flip over again right in order to find out what is one over uh, integer right so we flip over what we get is in the denominator 
is going to be square root 2023 yeah minus 43 yeah so in order to calculate that we can do again multiply square root 2023 plus 43 on both top and the bottom yeah let's do that okay and the bottom becomes 2023 minus 43 square okay just keep in mind that the reason we're doing this is because we try to put the whole thing in continuous fraction where is a proper fraction it has one over some integer at the bottom okay so in this case when you do the algebra here you cancel here that's going to be 87 at the bottom yeah so 87 and notice that earlier we know that 2023 is 44 point something, right? So here is going to be 40, is going to be 87 point, point something, right? So it's going to be integer part is 1, okay? Plus this, uh, if you do the algebra, it's going to be minus 44, yeah? So what we have is the integer this time again is going to be 1, and the fraction part is something smaller than 1, okay? So we have this, uh, mm, we have found this integer again, okay? So we need to continue with this fraction here. When I flip over, it becomes 87 over something that's bigger than one now because original number is smaller than one. If you flip over, it's gonna be bigger than one, yeah? So what do you do is the same trick, you know, times 2023 20, square root plus 44 on both the top and the bottom yeah if we do that and the bottom becomes 2023 20, minus 44 square yeah and i think we have seen this before right so uh, 44 is uh, 1936 yeah so if we do the algebra here okay so what are we going to get? And the bottom is 44 is 1936, okay? Remember, our purpose here is to try to figure out an, an integer so that this whole thing is uh, some integer plus a fraction we go on um, for the process, right? So here, 87 cancels. So what we get is we got 80 because the top is actually 87, 2023 is 44 plus something, right? So we have 88 plus this fraction here. Notice that we have seen this before, right? Because we started the whole thing, like square root of 2023 minus 44. So you would imagine you're gonna repeat the process, but then the whole thing gonna repeat itself because notice that we start from square root of 2023 minus 44. Now we end up with the same quantity here, right? The same quantity here. So which means we can stop and then we can assume everything else is gonna be repeating, right? So what we have so far is we start with 44 as an integer and then we have 1, 43, 1, 88, yeah? So we have 1, 43, 1, 88, and then from this point on, since the algebra is going to repeat, everything is going to be identical. In other words, we're going to have 1, 43, 1, and then 88, and then goes on forever. All right? So that's the beauty of it. That is, it's periodic, and it's going to repeat with this uh, simple pattern here. So let's recap. So what do we know that? the simple continuous fraction is going to be repeating and the pattern is going to be 1, 43, 1, 88, 1, 43, 1, 88 goes on forever, right? So if we truncate, let's say we're not going to do, you know, this too many fractions, let's only stop at the first cycle here. What we get here is, you know, some fraction and this fraction is, is, is approximately some value that's very close to square root of 2023. 20, now notice, however, this result is, seems to be better than the previous result. Remember, the, in the previous one, 
we have a huge denominator and then the precision is not as good but here we only have like 4004 relatively smaller denominator but then the approximation is actually better okay so what if we go take maybe additional number here right so let's let's do that so what we did some experiment here is that uh, if we do for example uh, up to another cycle before 88 we get this fraction here and then this fraction um, is also very close to square root of 2023 okay and also we notice that this square on the top minus 2023 minus the bottom square equal to one so in other words these two numbers is actually a solution to this the fountain equation here yeah so this is called pals equation so we'll cover that in next video regarding that okay but here we just uh, have two way of calculating the continued fraction one that is repeating pattern with 87 and 88 and here the other one the repeating pattern here where we have the simple continued fraction format all right so hope you enjoy the video please like share and subscribe to the channel